every story has an end. Even the story of the universe. The galaxies, the stars, the planets, all of them are slowly dying. Right now, our universe feels alive, vibrant, full of energy. But underneath that dazzling light lies a quiet truth. The clock is ticking. One day, the stars will go out, the galaxies will fade, and everything that ever existed will fall silent. This is the journey to the final moment, the death of everything. The present universe. Today, the universe is nearly 13.8 billion years old. Ancient, yet still burning with life. Stars are born inside massive clouds of dust and gas. Galaxies collide, merge, and grow. Black holes feed, shaping the cosmic web that stretches across the observable universe. But beneath this cosmic dance lies an invisible truth. The universe is running out of fuel. Every star consumes hydrogen, the simplest and most abundant element, turning it into heavier atoms. But this process, the very heartbeat of the cosmos, comes at a cost. Once a star burns through its hydrogen, it dies. And over time, fewer stars are born to replace them. The raw materials of creation, the hydrogen and helium that filled the early universe, are being used up. Slowly, silently, the universe is growing colder, darker, and emptier. The First Death The End of the Stellar Era Fast forward 100 trillion years into the future. By then, every star we see today will be gone. The last suns will exhaust their fuel, fading into the black. The night sky, once ablaze with billions of stars, will go dark forever. No more light, no more warmth. Only black dwarfs remain, the cold, dead remnants of what were once stars. These black dwarfs will still hold their shape, faintly glowing with the last whispers of heat. But even that will fade over time, until the cosmos becomes a graveyard of frozen suns drifting through eternal night. The age of stars will end, and the dark era will begin. This marks the first great death of the universe, the end of visible light. Black holes take over. With no stars left to shine, black holes will rule the universe. They will be the last great engines of creation and destruction. Born from the deaths of massive stars, these cosmic monsters will dominate the dark era. Planets, dust, and even entire dead stars will be swallowed whole. Galaxies will fade, collapsing inward toward the hungry centers that birthed them. For a while, the universe will belong to the black holes. They will merge, collide, and grow creating brief flashes of energy in an otherwise silent void. But even these titans cannot last forever. According to physicist Stephen Hawking, black holes slowly evaporate through a process known as Hawking radiation. Tiny quantum effects near the event horizon cause black holes to leak energy. Imperceptibly slow at first, but relentless. Over unimaginable spans of time, they will shrink, fade, and eventually explode in brief flashes of light. The last fireworks of a dying cosmos. One by one, they vanish, until nothing remains but faint radiation spread across infinite darkness. The reign of black holes will end, and with it, the universe will lose its final source of power.
the final fate, heat death. And so begins the quietest era of all, the heat death of the universe. The universe continues to expand, endlessly stretching space itself. But now, it is nearly empty. No stars, no galaxies, no light. Only a thin fog of dead particles, photons, electrons, neutrinos, spread across infinite nothingness. As space expands, this radiation thins out, losing what little energy it had. The temperature of the universe drops closer and closer to absolute zero, the coldest possible state of existence. At that point, motion itself stops. Atoms no longer vibrate. Time loses meaning because nothing changes anymore. This is thermodynamic death, when entropy reaches its peak, when every possible state of energy has been used, balanced, and exhausted. It's not an explosion or a collapse. It's a fading, a slow, eternal silence. The universe doesn't end in fire. It ends in stillness. In the heat death, there are no observers left. No consciousness. No memory of what once was. Only the faintest echo of a story that began with the Big Bang. A universe that lived, burned, and slowly dimmed into eternal night. This is the end of time itself. Other possible endings. But some scientists believe the story might end differently. The universe's fate depends on one question. How much dark energy fills it? And what will that energy do? If dark energy remains constant, the expansion will continue forever, leading to the heat death we just described. But if gravity someday overcomes that expansion, the universe could reverse. Galaxies would start falling back together. Stars, planets, even black holes. Everything would collapse inward. In a cataclysmic implosion, space itself would shrink to a single point. This would be the big crunch. The universe dying in the same way it was born. And perhaps, from that singularity, a new universe could emerge. A cosmic rebirth. But there's another, even stranger possibility. The Big Rip. If dark energy grows stronger over time, it could tear the universe apart piece by piece. First galaxies drift apart. Then stars. Then planets. Eventually, even atoms themselves would be ripped open by the expansion of space. In this ending, the universe doesn't fade or collapse. It's shredded to nothing. No matter which theory proves true, all share the same haunting truth. Everything that begins must end. One day, even the memory of our world will fade into silence. Earth the Milky Way, every galaxy, all of it will vanish, leaving only darkness. And yet, there is something profoundly beautiful in that truth, because it means that we, right now, exist in the rarest moment of all, the age of light. Between the birth and death of everything, we live in a universe still young enough to see the stars still warm enough to dream. For a brief moment in eternity, we are witnesses, conscious sparks in the cosmic night. When the final light fades, the universe will fall silent. But the fact that it ever was, that atoms came together to think, to love, to look up at the stars, means that the cosmos has known itself. And that, is beautiful. We were here. We were here once. once.